I'm an experimental pathologist. I try to understand the roots of disease. My focus is primarily on infectious diseases. And I try to understand how microbes cause disease and how microbes contribute to health. I was invited to, to meet Scott Burns, who was representing Steven Soderbergh, to talk about a movie concerned with infectious diseases. The average person touches their face three to five times every waking minute. In between, we're touching doorknobs, water fountains, and each other. I've been approached by other screenwriters in the past and other directors who wanted to do very dark, apocalyptic, far-fetched sorts of things which really didn't interest me. This, in contrast, was uh, an effort to really get the story right and to represent the science appropriately and to make a movie that would both entertain as well as educate and motivate people to become involved. Scott Burns is terrific. He would call me up every other day, sometimes every day, to check a fact or to propose a situation. And then we would come up with a strategy which he could use to make both a compelling scene as well as something that was scientifically accurate. We went to high-level containment laboratories for the Department of Defense, high-level containment laboratories at the Centers for Disease Control, and we brought actors here and taught them how to use equipment so that they became facile with handling things like pipettes and doing PCR and looking through microscopes. And I think they enjoyed it. And we had two actors here who spent a fair amount of time, uh, Jennifer Ely and Kate Winslet. And we gave them little diplomas at the end of their, their tour of duty with us. And they're welcome to come back as technicians if they like. Very early on, it became clear that Scott wanted to incorporate me into the script. I was honored by that, and it was fun to see how we developed that. In 2003, when SARS emerged, um, we were among the first to develop a rapid diagnostic test for SARS. I was invited to go to Beijing, and they needed help in responding to the outbreak. And the scenes that you see in the movie where streets are deserted and there are blockades and such, this directly comes out of you know, my vivid memories of what it was like to be in Beijing. Now, when I returned from China uh, after that first week of May, I became ill and I was quarantined. So I also have a sense of what it's like to be told, you're going to stay put over here, you're going to have no interaction with anybody, and it's, you know, it's, a, it's a very eerie sort of an experience. But I was able to communicate that to the actors who had those kinds of experiences. Matt Damon, for example, is is isolated in that fashion. What does that feel like? To know that you can't really come into contact with your loved ones, that they have to talk to you through glass. So there are a number of occasions where I saw things that weren't quite right. One of them, for example, was the way a vaccine was being delivered. And they said, you know, we really don't want to reshoot it. Is it really critical? I said, yeah, it really is, because it's, you know, it's, this is not the way it works. And Stephen, to his credit, said, okay, we'll reshoot the scene. So they brought Jennifer back and they reshot the scene. We hope that kids become inspired to become scientists because scientists and public health people in this movie are the heroes. We also want people to be aware that it's important that we find ways to control infectious diseases in the developing world as well as here. First, because it's the right thing to do, because there's an enormous morbidity and mortality. It's also important to do this from a selfish vantage point as well, because whatever is over there can also come here. So what we've tried to do in this movie is to highlight the vulnerabilities and the things that we need to change, but also to put together some sort of a roadmap so that people know what needs to be done. So it's a very positive movie. It is, you know, it's, it has its dark aspects, but it's quite optimistic if we take the right steps.